I finally finished rigging my Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 136 kayak. I've been fishing in Old Town kayaks for years. You've probably seen me pedaling a Predator PDL or paddling my Predator 13. But this new kayak promises to be a game changer. It's 13 feet 6 inches long, 37 inches wide, and sports a double U-shaped hull making it about as stable as any kayak ever dreamed of being. The centerpiece is its integrated 45 pound thrust saltwater rated Minn Kota trolling motor with SpotLock technology. SpotLock uses GPS to hold the user within 5 feet of their set location. I've had it out a couple times, but I've yet to put it to the ultimate test. So I'm on the road at 3 a.m. and I'm heading south to Cape Cod, Massachusetts to vertical jig heavy metals on the rock piles, humps, and ledges of the infamous Buzzards Bay for black sea bass and tatog or blackfish as they're affectionately referred to by those who regularly target them. I've also never caught a fluke or a summer flounder from my kayak. I've caught them from a boat, but I'm really hoping to not catching one in a kayak off my bucket list today. Hang on to your hat, because things are about to get heavy. Welcome back to another show. <laughs> Is this a show? I don't know if it's a show. Anyway, I am down off the coast of Cape Cod, Massachusetts, and I have the Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 136. I just beach launched it at low tide, which wasn't fun, loaded up with all my gear and the tires on my Malone cart are low so it was a workout to say the least I'm happy I don't have to pedal or paddle right now because I can just rest on my way out into my fishing spot um, today I'm gonna be chasing black sea bass maybe some tatog and hopefully my first fluke in a kayak um, I've caught fluke in a boat. I've never caught one in a kayak, never caught a keeper. In a, I've only ever caught, I think, one keeper. It's just a, a quick fluke trip. Anyway, I'm going to head out here to my first spot. I'm going to be fishing rock piles and drop-offs. Drop-offs for fluke and the rock piles and ledges for sea bass and to tug. So wish me luck. Hope you enjoy this. Hit that subscribe button. If you hate the episode, you hate the channel, you can always unsubscribe later, but it helps me out a lot to hit that subscribe button and a notification bell right next to it. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks. Okay, so I don't even pretend to be some sort of fluke fishing expert. So, if you are and you're watching this, and you're thinking, what is this guy doing? Just know that I'm probably thinking the same thing. I just had a lot of help from a lot of people who fish fluke. I watch a ton of YouTube videos from people that like to fluke a lot. John Skinner and Elias V. Their channels are really good, really informative. So I'm just going to go over this spot here <clears throat> and while I'm here I'm just going to stop and bounce this fluke jig down here. Oh, there's something. It might be a sea robin or a sea bass. Oh, came off whatever it was. Well, that's a good sign anyway. Well, I did. I haven't had the camera on because I've been struggling to find fish. So rather than waste battery and card space, 
I decided to put the camera away and I just picked up one short to tog and then this one hit like a freight train which is gonna be my personal best to tog. I know he's a keeper. Maybe 19 inches to keep him but wow nice fish good eats finally I'm gonna get a picture and get him let out on ice it's two I've picked up right here in this one spot so I'm gonna switch over to a tuk tog jig with a all I have is gulp peeler crabs Let's see what that does because they're hitting those the white uh, teasers on my fluke rig so let's see I've been drifting with this fluke rig just to cover some water because I know that the sea bass will eat it I didn't think the tatog would eat it the blackfish but just been covering water see Robin oh holy fluke Holy fluke. Well, I am i don't know if that's a keeper, but that is my first fluke in kayak. Does not look. 17 inches, but maybe. Skinny. Nope, 15. Well, I'm gonna get a picture of it nonetheless because it is my first fluke in a kayak. These have to be 17 inches to keep them. This one's 15, so back it goes, but not bad. My personal best uh, tog and my first fluke in the kayak, all within a few minutes of each other. Pretty crazy. Hi, everyone. I hope you're enjoying this video. I am currently sitting here editing it and thought I would throw together a quick montage of missed hook sets because there were several. So if you love montages of hook sets, hit that subscribe and thumbs up button. If you hate montages of missed hook sets, hit that subscribe and thumbs up button. And anyway, thanks for watching. Enjoy this. another fluke it is another fluke it's a better fluke too that might be a keeper uh, maybe not can you remember what the size is 19 17 Close. It's definitely close. Wait, what the hook? 
hook remover. Let's see. Nope. Well, that could be the same fish. Bye-bye. About it. To tog. Yep. Another blackfish. Oh, I foul hooked him. Jeez. He's just barely legal if he's legal. Nice. Hey, I came for sea bass and fluke. Caught on a keeper. Flu fluke and no sea bass. I'm hoping when the tide turns, we'll find some sea bass. Looks close. camera issues. The SD card on this one is full. So it won't record. And I just had a bunch of fish moving under me. And I just caught a giant. I'm trying to get connected with my phone so I can thump. Big school of sea bass under me. And I think they're all really nice fish. Sorry about the audio. Oh yeah, beautiful fish. Nice, another nice one. Not as big as the last one, but beautiful fish. Wow. It took me all day to find these fish. All morning, I should say. It's that Daddy Mac 1.4 Elite Deluxe. No pain. Unbelievable sea bass jig. Beautiful fish. Keep them. Looks 15. Yeah, it's 15. That's good. Beauties. There's more of them down there. All right, I'm going to get the camera straightened out here. So I get some better footage and audio. I drop back down. They're still down there. All right, camera difficulties. The one and only time I didn't bring my camera case with SD cards in it, I ran out of space. I had to delete a bunch of files. But I've been on this spot, pulled two fish off it so far, and these schools just keep coming by. Hopefully I didn't screw it up and they come back I pulled two nice ones out of here anyway they're in the bag bleeding out I don't know if there's bait on this little hump that I'm on or what but they've been back through here a few times and I had camera all pulled apart I thought the battery was dead hopefully they come back by One. Oh. Yeah, look at them, they're coming right back in here again. Almost dropped my rod. 
There they are. Oh no, is this a... Oh, Tatog. Take him all day. Jeez. And if he's big enough, we will anyway. It's gonna be close. I can't believe the blackfish are hitting this jig with no bait on it. Nope. 15. Your lucky day. Female. GoPro start recording. It's a giant, but it pulled pretty hard. It's a keeper, I'm sure. It's a sea bass. Tug. Number two tug. kept it simple with these ones. I have two black sea bass fillets on the left, two black fish fillets on the right, salted and peppered. I pan sear them in butter. Plant-based avocado oil butter is really good, surprisingly good. Cook them until they're white on the edges, flip them over and finish them all the way through. Saute up some green beans or whatever to go with them and they're absolutely delicious. And the one, the piece on the top is the black fish, that one there, and the piece on the bottom is black sea bass. Thanks for watching.